Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you my diesel air and water heater uh, installation, how far it is, what's it doing, and check it out. So this is the fuel tank for it. And as you can see, I mounted it to a super strut, just right to the side of the container. Um, the, the kit came with uh, the filter 
and the through pass through here and this is so this everything is what came with the kit so that's where it comes through and then it just goes in this cable uh, floor cable protector and then I've got the floor cable protector shielded uh, where the where everything's shielded over here the pump had to be plugged in for the unit to work it was throwing error codes so the pumps plugged in but not running anything the exhaust was kind of tricky because it always has to go down right so it's going down 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 all the way back there all the way back to behind over there so it comes out here and then all this snakes like this because eventually the closest place outdoors will be over here so it's it has to run that and that was pretty expensive that was a couple hundred bucks worth of that tubing to get it this is the return and this is the out that's the control unit there and you just turn it on okay and it has four settings which is the four settings are kind of amusing because you turn it all the way down and it's red and then two is red I guess the orange is hotter in China and then it's even hotter now there's one more hotter the blue well I ran that once to find out that uh, I don't even want it on right now. And the idea was to try to get all the heat to dissipate out of that exhaust before it leaves this container. Because so far, I've been getting both containers. Uh, and they're not connected in any way except for uh, where a couple little things go through. You know, there's an air gap between them, okay? But because this one has a bunch of stuff in it, right? So thermal mass. And it has that heater running in there. They've been staying almost identical temperatures, okay? Now, because there's no insulation involved, I have... Uh, like when it was really cold, it wasn't keeping up very well, but I hadn't plugged a bunch of holes. So I plugged like 70 or no, like 80 holes that were like that big in, in the container that were the vent holes, right? Which this one doesn't have as nearly as many. This one only has like two vent areas where the other one had eight vent areas. So I plugged all that. The next day it wasn't nearly as cold. So I haven't really got it down to the cold, but it was on full blast all night long just to keep it, I think 50 degrees or 40 degrees or something. I don't know, it was a few nights ago. The first few uh, days, there was a smell of Chinese oil, which is typical with uh, like every Chinese thing I've ever got it always has the same kind of Chinese oil smell to it, right? So I didn't know, oh, I cranked it up like the second day just to see what would happen when it was cranked up and the fire, the smoke alarm went off um, because I had it into the blue. Well, the blue is when the water, so that thing will heat water as well once I get it plumb. So apparently by turning it up too high, I don't know, but it, was, it wasn't smoking like the machine, you could see smoking, but when I came in here, you could kind of see like a hazy smoke in the air. So, you know, don't turn it up to blue um, if it doesn't have water running through it is basically the lesson I learned. But other than that, the smell has pretty much gone away and uh, it's working quite nicely. It's easy. It burns more diesel than the guy that sold it to me uh, told me it would by quite a bit. He said the tank would last uh, a week of constant use. And I think it's more like, uh, well, depending on what 
Um, you know, that's like all night and a little more than all, just a little bit into the day on pretty much level two and one. It burned that much in a day. It wasn't all, I don't get it all the way full, so, you know, but that much. So, um, I've been trying to compare it, trying to remember how much my RV used in propane to heat. Uh, but the RV had insulation, so it's kind of not a fair comparison. Um, I'm a ways away from insulation on these bad boys. Uh, this concrete job not getting done is not helping that factor because this the, this whole run down the side here, that's where the wall goes that holds the outsulation <laughs> or the insulation on the outside or whatever you want to call it. That's where it goes. Well, there's no concrete there and the weather is getting too cold so that's on hold. Um, so without insulation, uh, and when it gets down to like 20 degrees, it's going to be interesting. But the one good thing is, is that I'm getting the plumbing hooked up on it, like shortly. I got a few other things going on and then it'll be plumbed and then I'll have hot water and like a, kind of like a shower basically. So have a good one. Uh, like and subscribe. Bye.